Thank you for watching this Ledger Gurus video on Finale Inventory. In this video, we're going to be covering the process of receiving inventory against an existing purchase order in Finale Inventory. Inventory being received needs to be received against a pre-existing purchase order. So in order to start this process, you can start here where it says purchasing and come down to purchase orders or on the home screen, you can click this button that says purchases. This will take you into a list of all of your existing purchase orders and you can click on the one you're planning on receiving against. This screen will show you all of the items that are currently on order that you're waiting to receive. Now, in order to start this process of receiving this inventory, you have a couple of different options. You can either come over here to where it says receive purchase order. And if you click this, it will make a couple of assumptions. First of all, it will assume that the entire purchase order was received in full and that this it was all received on this very same date and that was all received in the very same location. If that's all true, then this is a very fast, easy way of of making this process as quick as possible. However, if that's not true, if you're receiving multiple shipments against one purchase order or shipments that are going to different locations or shipments that are arriving on different dates or any other variation of that, you're going to need to choose a different option. Another option you have is this drop down button here that says add new shipment. When I click on this add new shipment button, it will again take me into a screen where I can edit all of the products that have actually been received. The third option to start this process is to actually select the items that were received as part of this particular shipment, if it was a partial shipment, and, and this button now changes to where it says create shipment with selection. If I choose this, it takes me to the same screen, but helps fill out things a little bit more quick and easy for me. So no matter which of those options you choose, you can actually come in here and fully edit any of these numbers here. And the goal basically is to ensure that you have a great audit trail of what was actually received into the warehouse when the shipment was gone through. And this is a very important process because it becomes a very critical part of a three-way check to ensure that you are not paying for inventory that you didn't receive. So when you receive the inventory, you compare this against the purchase order. And when you go to pay the bill, you actually compare the purchase order against the bill the purchase order against the receiving slip to make sure you're not paying for inventory that you didn't receive. So you come in here and you can edit any of these line items. Anything that is highlighted in yellow is highlighted in yellow because for whatever reason at this point in time, the, the amount received does not match the purchase order. So it helps you identify and see which of these lines still need attention. Maybe the purchase order just maybe needs to be closed out with those items without those items ever being received but you can at least be sure that you know that when you go to then pay for this purchase order. So let's say that I'm receiving this as my first partial payment. Um, I There's a couple of other buttons here that I wanna bring to your attention that are just good time savers. If for whatever reason, um, I need to just empty all this out, I can just come here and where it says empty shipment and it will zero all of these line items out. Um, probably highly useful if you just wanna add a couple line items, but you need to get rid of everything that's there. Then another option you have is this one that says batch update the sublocation. So I'm going to indicate my shipment destination here, but within this warehouse, I have some sublocations that I need to indicate. So if I am being held up because these are all still waiting for sublocation, I would click here where it says batch update sublocation, indicate the sublocation that I'm choosing, say update shipment, and it would update all these lines with the current location of where all this inventory is going. After that point, I can either save the changes if I'm only partway through and I haven't yet finalized this, or if I'm comfortable with all the items that I've indicated I've received, I'm gonna click here where it says receive shipment. It's gonna ask me which date, I'm gonna say receive shipment, and now I basically have a partially received purchase order. When I come back over here to purchase now, I can see, first of all, that several of these lines now indicate that I have items that received against them, and you can see the lines that are still waiting to have the inventory received, as well as over here on this tab, I can see that I have one shipment that has been received and I can see that shipment date. Now again, I still have multiple items that need to be received for this particular shipment. So I'm gonna click this button that says add new shipment. When I do that, over here, it's actually gonna populate, assuming that I am now receiving all of the additional inventory, because I click the button that says add new shipment instead of selecting the individual lines. One of the things I want to point out is that this table below has to do with the purchase order as a whole, um, comparing like what was actually ordered with what has been shipped. So it's not specific to whichever shipment is selected up here. So up here I have shipment two selected, but if I go into shipment one, you notice the table down here stays the same because like I said, 
This table has to do with the entire purchase order and a cumulative effect of all of the shipments up to this point in time. So if I was basically receiving all the rest of the shipment now, um, and I had gone through and I had gone through the box and I had checked off and verified that yes, this is what I had received, then I can come up here and um, put in my location and I'm just going to click here where it says receive shipment. It, again, indicate the shipment date, receive shipment. Now when I come back over here to the purchase, I can see that I have a fully received purchase order. I have all of these items now that have all been fully received. And so, and I can see here that it was received across these two shipments, the date, um, like I can see the status of all of that. Now I have the option of either going through and completing this bill process, which we will complete in a different video, or if you're going to be skipping that process altogether, then I could go ahead at this point and mark this purchase order as being fully completed.